In rural England, I'm sad to report, there's an increasingly dark side to life. Our countryside may be full of rolling meadows, ancient castles and quaint little cottages with roses round the door, but behind the romantic image, a new crime wave has sprung up. In the shadows of every forest, modern highwaymen may be lurking, and behind many a village hedgerow, organised gangs could be plotting right now to steal tractors, livestock and even valuable agricultural chemicals. It's getting worse, and it costs at least $100 million a year in insurance claims alone. Once upon a time, Britain's farmers would rely on their dogs to alert them to danger, but not anymore. Sophisticated alarm systems have now arrived down the muddy tracks, and hidden away in the trunk of that old oak tree is probably a nest of surveillance cameras linked to the police. The jolly red-faced farmer of yesteryear has been robbed too often to take chances these days, but at least he hasn't lost his sense of jollity. You see, some of the most effective weapons against rural crime are some of the most unlikely. If you want to stop light-fingered thugs running away with those expensive quad bikes used for rounding up herds of cattle and sheep, don't use padlocks, just park the bikes in a pen along with your favourite Frisian bull and watch the hoods run for their lives. Or else, how about a feathered deterrent? You see, the English goose can turn very nasty indeed if you wander onto his patch. He kicks up a racket and delivers a knockout punch. Extremely popular with farmers down where I live. But the ultimate weapon of choice, the, the magnum of the animal kingdom, is the llama. Now, this South American creature looks like a timid family pet but it's extraordinarily aggressive. Some farmers in your western state, so I gather, already use llamas to scare off marauding coyotes. Well, British farmers are now buying woolly llamas by the busload to tackle the crooks head on. Fully grown, they stand up to six foot high and they can weigh more than 400 pounds. And when angered, they spit, kick and neck wrestle. In short, the perfect deterrent. And uh, when you get fed up with them, their soft wool makes a lovely sweater. This is Ed Boyle for CBS News in London.